Cancer. Welcome and welcome back to Manacopes' Tarot. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm Amira. <laughs> this is going to be a weekly reading for you, Cancer. So wherever you have Cancerian energy in your chart, it may very well resonate for you. Okay? It's a general reading, though, so it may not. If you guys want a personal, my email is in the description box. Okay, pricing is very reasonable, especially compared to some other folks. <laughs> All right, Cancer, let's see. We're going to get an oracle. There we are. We're going to get an oracle here to see what their overall energy is for the week ahead. Then we'll take a look specifically at the beginning of the week, the middle of the week for you, and then how things play out towards the end. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> for cancer. Adjustment. Looking back, moving forward. Number 24, which reduces to a six, all right? This is someone who has gone through the fight okay you've gone through the difficult time but something here is bringing it back up for some reason it's hard to keep moving this person honestly looks scared i feel like whatever it was there there's um you have grown from this situation okay yeah this person looks afraid all right i feel like there's a desire to release it fully but something is bringing like memories or maybe a person back up here and i just saw the tower all right show me cancer please <clears throat> show me cancer beginning of the week middle of the week and how things are playing out towards the end so the beginning of the week cancer we have a hangman pisces energy here all right but like i said you, you you've been in this uncomfortable space still and maybe that's a part of why I, I, I do i feel like this is a part of why you guys have not been able to totally move forward or move on from some situation all right there's some situation coming up here that you um have learned from or was supposed to learn from but maybe there's an inability for you to let it go all right because you're still sitting in this uncomfortable position i feel like i feel you guys waiting for something what are you waiting for cancer waiting for something let's say middle of the week five of cups yeah okay this is something that you guys are having to do on your own you're waiting for something which i'm going to clarify this hangman after we get set up here you're waiting for something when really there's a, there's a mood you like it's like <laughs> playing chess okay but you're playing chess with yourself why, why are we getting this you're playing it's like you're playing chess with yourself you're waiting for someone else to make a move but that person is not playing the game anymore all right or this is their energy i don't know take it as it resonates that's what i'm getting somebody's playing chess by themselves and waiting for someone else to make a move, but there's nobody there on the other side of the table or on the other side of the chessboard. It's your turn to move and only your turn to move. They stop playing. The game's over, okay? But the middle of the week here is gonna be difficult for you because like I said, I feel like something, it, it, it's like it triggers it, okay? I feel like you you have been trying to move forward and trying to understand that that person's not there anymore or, um, that energy is not there playing chess anymore, but something here, it, it's like it makes you look back like, oh wait, are they there? Are they playing again? This could be a dream I'm hearing also for some of you. Okay, end of the week we have the Wheel of Fortune coming through here. Wow. Damn cancer. Alright, let's get in this because... <laughs> Now I want to know. So the Wheel of Fortune <clears throat> speaks on karma. It's it's the end of a cycle. This is a um, this is a chance event. But if I'm being honest, um, I'm not reading that deck in reversals. But if I'm being honest, I feel like it would be in the reverse. It's like someone who is 
waiting for the right time, but the right time is not, it, it's not happening. All right. Seven of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. Some of you may have trust issues here. Like I said, that person right there feel, seems very afraid, okay? Afraid of the past, haunting them, uh, you know, it, just very afraid, okay? Eight of Pentacles, yeah, here's the Wheel of Fortune showing up again here with the Moon and the Nine of Pentacles. Whatever this is, Cancer, I'm wanting to say it's not happening. All right, what is this? Hang on. Three of Swords in the reverse, right? Some, somebody here is like avoiding moving forward or avoiding healing from some kind of connection. Three of Swords in the reverse. We have the Lover's card and the Two of Wands. It's time to choose a new path, but instead someone is remaining stagnant. Okay? It's time to, to choose a new path and move forward. And, you know, the battle is over. Again, it's over. <clears throat> Okay, somebody was on the winning end, somebody was on the losing end. I don't know if you were on which one, either way, either way, you know, karma is karma. And we see karma here at the end of the week. So if that's what you're waiting for, it's coming in, but you still are needing to go within, you know, and, and, and um, choose to change your perspective on this situation because it's you, you, you you're finding yourself stuck in the situation because you're not willing to go into that four of swords energy talk to me about this wheel of fortune is that it um, one more Let's see if the pentacles really wants to show itself we have Fortitude in the Reversal, which is the Strength card in the Reverse, as well as the Eight of Pentacles. Give me a second. Cancer, okay, so there's a lesson you are to learn, and I said that here, I believe, okay? I feel like whatever situation occurred in the past... It, this was supposed this, this was meant to make you wiser okay as you move in to the next phase of life as you you know as that the, the wheel of fortune comes in and, and your and your destiny shows up and um moves you into a new phase of creation there was supposed to be a lesson back there i feel like you're still kind of in the midst of it and so i don't know if this is coming back up with the Wheel of Fortune energy, all right? Again, I, I feel that energy of, um, yeah, here's the Seven of Swords again. <clears throat> I'm also feeling a bit of paranoia here, all right? I feel like someone, is, someone feels like no one else believes them, all right? Like no one else believes what they're saying or, or um, uh, their outlook okay it's like dream dreamy land again the energy of the chessboard with nobody on the other side let's see what final messages do you have for cancer yeah look at the six of swords at the bottom of the deck okay you've been trying to move forward here but something's coming back up i feel and i really feel like it is a, like a dream or a vision even all right, final messages, please, for Cancer. Three of Cups. Some of you waiting for a reconciliation, okay? Or something to that effect. What is this Three of Cups? I feel like you're also needing to lean on the support of your friends and family. I don't know why I get the energy here, Cancer. It's like you're keeping something to yourself. Okay, there's some kind of secretive energy here. This is what will help you to move forward. All right, Cancer, that's the message I have for you guys. I hope that it helps as you move forward and make decisions in life and love. And in general, don't forget to like the video, share the love, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time.